Keep walking back. Yeah. Shark. This just came in, so that means there's big sharks out there. Iguana man. What's up guys? How is it going? It's Roger the Iguana man with Dakota at Ripper Lens Fishing. We about to do some fishing, but before we do that, we gotta get some bait. We gotta get Let's some bait. Look at him. That, that's, a, that's a nice bait right there. What's going on guys? It's your friend Raj the Iguana man. We're back at you guys with another video. Today I'm meeting up with my friend Dakota and our friend Luis to do some shark fishing. But before we do that, we gotta put this iguana in the bag and in the grill. Rip him in. There he is. All right, reel him up, dude. Dude, Raj, we got a big one. Holy smokes. That thing is giant, son. That's, that's a 10 pounder all day. At first we were gonna use him for bait, but then we decided to keep this one for the dinner table. And we're not quite sure if sharks actually eat iguanas. We might have to prove this here in the future. Invasive lizard out here in the streets of Florida. Oh, let's go do some fishing. Yeah, let's get it. After landing our dinner guest, Mr. Iguana, me and Dakota decided to take it to the oh, beach to see it. if we can catch some fish. Fisherman's life is one I know well too often. Before I got into iguana removal, I used to be an bait. avid fisherman. My boy Dakota is a beast at fishing. Check him out on YouTube, Ripping Lips Fishing. And there's a lot of different species of fish out here. Yeah, I think we got something on here. Can I get out of the way? We have a lot of fish patrolling this area. From snook, stingrays, carpet, and even sharks. We're not talking about small sharks either. Lately on the news, there have been reports of giant 14-foot sharks circling our coast. So the times not to be in the water is dusk and dawn, sunrise and sun up. You might be on the menu. We're just gonna go ahead and release this snook because uh, we're just catching them for fun today. Oh, there he goes. The more time goes on, the more bites pick up. So we're gonna start sending out some more bait. <laughs> hey, it's starting, action starting to heat up now. It's starting to heat up. There could be that shark out there, dude. I think it's a barracuda rush. Oh, oh get him by. Come on. It could be a ladyfish, snook, or barracuda. Let's see what it is. Oh, ladyfish. Oh, it's, lady it's like a poor man's carp. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look how big his eye is. Look how big his mouth is. And he's trying to tail with me. Hey, guy, calm This down. is all part of the food chain. Dude, big fish eat insane. little fish, and bigger insane. fish eat those fish. Yeah, we're here, we're here. We're on. We have a little technical difficulties at the beach. Dude, you were just about to hand me that rod too, bro. No, I was reeling it in, and then I saw a shark chasing it. For real? Yeah, the shark was chasing it, bro. Shark! <laughs> uh oh, guys, we're on to a big fish right now. Wait, what is it? No, wait, Luis, is it a tarpon or a shark? Dude, I think it might be. <laughs> what is it? Come right towards him. Shark. Here, go back, Go step back. Oh, it's a black tip. Nice black tip. Oh. It's a black tip shark. Yeah. See if you go, okay, okay, they're going in there. And there you have it right there. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. We're back for round two. Hey, you gotta walk back, walk back a little bit, no? Okay. Yeah, just walk back, walk back. And this is the Keep hardest part, yeah. trying to land this shark. It's super tricky. Anything can happen at any time. Keep going back, Luis. Hey! Oh! Oh! 
we are, we are, we are, but we're getting a video though. We are. Us Floridians yeah. can lawfully harvest black tip shark. Upon looking at the regulations, there is no size limit. Okay, you just gotta have your shark permit. And upon further investigation, it looks like this shark has been attacked by another shark. Oh, look, he got bit, he got bit by another shark. Oh. Yeah, look, he got bit look, by another got, shark. Yeah, he did, probably on his way in. Oh my gosh. Hey, look at this, there's a bigger shark trying to eat him. This is a shark, right? This is a shark, it's a bigger shark trying to eat it. That's how many big fish are out here. Uh, Wait, his fin's about to come off. Oh my god. Dude, we probably can't release no, this shark, no, dude. But his buddy eats sharks. We might have to keep this. Hold on, we might not be able to release him, dude. Stop it. Hammerhead, eats these. Hammerhead, bigger shark, 14 foot. Yo, Dang Dakota, when we saw that bubbling there, that was like another shark family. Dude. Look at the bite. There's a bigger dude. shark trying to kill him. We're about to release him. You can't release him, he's going to die. Okay. He's not gonna live. What do you think? So he's gonna live or not? 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 He's gonna live we were not planning for this harvest. We just went out there for fun. But with the situation unfolded, there being bigger sharks eating these sharks, we decided to eat this shark before another shark does. A bigger shark. So I'm just taking a shot of this right quick. That's that. And there, look at look at the teeth mark. Look how big those teeth are, dude. Hammerhead. Look at that gash right there. And this is not like, the thing is, it's not like thin skin. This is thick skin right here. Ready? That's how we eat. We understand the controversy with commercial shark fishing and finning. Unpractical, inhumane practices <laughs> Most fish you by do illegal fishing. This right here was a perfectly legal harvest of this black tip shark and not a single piece of it is gonna be going to waste. It's gonna be able to feed a lot of people and actually in my country, we make a delicacy. It's called bacon shark. It's our version of a McDonald's fish fillet sandwich, but to the extreme with nature's the greatest shark is going predator, to waste. the shark. We're gonna eat all the steaks. We're gonna do a mount with the jaws. Now guys, when you're, see that, that's a bone right there. Um, but make sure you guys have a sharp knife. It's the most important thing with sharks, apparently. See those scales? It's like armor. Smooth that way, rough this way. Back over here, got the smoker. Look at this. We got a pot. And you guys seen what happened at the beach. And now we were able to fillet and get some nice shark nuggets right here. Baby shark, doo -doo 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 -doo, baby shark. Guys, but for real though, we were not playing when we said we were about to make shark sandwiches. Yep. And so this is what we're doing, right? Y'all already know, like, Richard's got that stuff going on in Maracas. We're bringing Maracas right now to Miami. 305. This is how we do this, man. I'm an island boy. Just trying to make it. Island boy. I don't even know what it actually is. So, so adobo. Yeah. Is that good? No more? Oh, don't be scared. Yeah. Right. Got a lot. Nice. Occasionally put like half of that. A little bit of Louisiana spice. A little spice up in here. We need a little, a little spice, you know, like a little, a little, a little, a little spice in me the ball. A little spice, a little spice here. A little more spice. A little more spice. Right, there you go. Yeah. Okay. There we go. See a spoon. Yep. Take a block. That's one, two, one. Yeah. Right, good. Yeah. Oh wow. The bacon shot. That good? Yeah, that's good. We want that face. Oh, wow. We wanted to make like a, a batter. A little bit. We got the face. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right, you're right. <laughs> Some bread and shark right there. I had such a good time. Yeah? Danced every dance. Gotta go ahead and uh, bread this up. Nice. Rock the stone. Rock the stone, yeah. I did all Rolling Stone music.
They, they, they oh yeah, this is gonna taste good. Go ahead, let that marinate for a little bit, right? Yes. That looks perfect, dude. Look at that. The one right there. I saw there, which I never saw. Wow. Chick Fil A. I never had shark, but come on, you can't tell me that don't look good. Yes, it may be alcohol, but no need to worry because it will be cooked and all of the alcoholism will be out of there. Adding the carbonation to it. <laughs> That's a spicy meatball right there. <laughs> <laughs> Mamma mia. <laughs> Boom shaka Bam. Bow. That's how you that's how, that's how you fry it. That's, that's how you fry it. That one was too long to cook. If you cook it too long, it gets chewy. Yeah, the, that one that you put up first is good. Now that one's chewy, nah. bro. That one's yeah. good. Mm -hmm. That one's good. Nope. Uh, yeah. a, little, a, little, a little bit, a little bit. Okay. Yep. That's it. Man, that smells good. So. Hey, that's, that's, that's Popeyes. We're just playing with y'all. It's not shark. Alright, what you're having again? I might have a chick pull up. Chocolate huh? shark. What, what, what was that? Who was that? What's the Addy? What? The Addy? I'm scared. Let's see. What? The Addy? Uh, 14, baby. Oh yeah, here's the picture. I pull stuff on Facebook. All right, so we are done. The shark is fried, it's crispy, it's cooled down. We're gonna go ahead and cut a couple pieces of this. And this is the bake right here. Look at this, mm. It's like a, like a chalupa shell, look at that. It's a flat bread though. It's like a bake fried kind of bread. It's Now, like we said, we were literally turning the shark into a sandwich. And in Trinidad, we have a dish called a bacon shark. It's basically, like a shark fish sandwich. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in that. Got a little bit of tomato, a little bit of onion, just throw a couple of that. A little lettuce, just for a little bit of crunch. A little coolness of some tomato right there. We're just gonna- All right, so here we go. We have the black tip oh, shark right here. Yeah, all right guys, it's just simple guys. There's nothing super special about it. It's just a legit, a shark sandwich in a fried chalupa shell. Excellent. Crispy, tender, perfectly flavored. This bake right here is just, oh my goodness. Get that nice, warm, crispy crunch from the shark. Then you get that cool, refreshing kind of snap right, from the vegetables. Go. And then and the shell boy, that is in uh, the, 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 the bake is just a perfect vehicle for this amazing fish sandwich. Perfect. Wow. Perfect for them names. Incredible. No, seriously, man, these sharks are out here. We we actually got one, another one tried eating it, and we ended up eating the shark that we got. I told you guys we we're gonna make it into sandwiches. Apparently people be eating sharks all over the world. It's just kind of new over here, just like with the iguanas. Like I said, we're always gonna try to bring you guys uh, new, cool, and exciting content. So if you guys enjoy it, subscribe, give the video a like. Let me know what you guys think about the recipe in the comments down below. And would you ever eat a black tip shark Drop a comment. Let me know. It's your friend, Roger the Iguana Man. We'll see you guys on the next video. We got to go. Peace. After our little dinner, my cousin met up with me to go meet our friend, George the Magician. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Enjoy this bonus content. We'll see you on the next one. God bless and peace out. From Puerto Rico. My parents never put me in school. I never went to school. Okay. I did learn by myself that's good that's really good like, okay this may not be a good day to go fly a kite but it's the birthday of Ch benjamin franklin who did fly a kite in lightning storm because he wanted to learn about the electricity ben wanted to learn about everything he was the youngest in a family of 17, 17. children and his parents could only afford to send him to school for a few years so he taught himself by reading lots of books. Franklin learned so well that he became a painter, postmaster, writer, inventor, scientist, and statesman. Touch the white button. See, you're already on. Okay. It's a blender. of electricity. Oh. Yeah.
your head too. Oh, okay. Touch. <laughs> oh wow. The shot. The shot. Okay, little, a little bit. Just a little. Come on. What happened? Dude. Okay. Hey, put. Okay. Hey, listen. Put the water. Put your feet in the water. Oh, uh, I'm all right, George. <laughs> Nice. Incredible performance, man. If any of you guys want to go ahead, want to learn more about George and his story, and if you guys want to book George, or if you guys want George to teach you guys a little uh, something about this electricity, wanted good show promoter and sponsor. 754 mm -hmm. 213 yep. 6808.